this presentation, we will continue learning how to use Rabbit, the programming language defined by IBB for programming their robots. Specifically, in this presentation, I will focus on the composite data types. This video is part of a mini tutorial on how to program in Rabbit. Therefore, the aim of this presentation is to introduce the main composite data types used in Rapid that allow defining working conditions and configurations for robot movements. Specifically, I would like you to learn data types that allow you to define a position, an orientation and a posture, as well as different robot configurations, zone and speed data, and so on. We will also see how to define the robot tool and how to define joint and robot targets. Composite data allows us to handle information in an organized way with a single variable composed of more data, with the same or different data types. It is very similar to a struct in Z, in the sense that it contains fields, each one with a different data type and name. To access to a field of a composite data type, we will use the dot operator. In the example, the data type C type 2 has two numeric fields with names name1 and name2. Therefore, we can access the fields of this composite data type by their names, or we can assign values with a list of values with square brackets by, or separated by commas. In the case that the composite data contains another composite data type, we can nest the brackets to perform the assignment operator. In Rapid, we have a set of predefined composite data types that will allow us to define required information for motion instructions. In the next slides, we will see the most relevant ones. To define a reference system or frame, we can do it with a data type pose. The position of the reference frame is defined by the data type pos, with include that includes three fields x, y, and z with the values of the Cartesian coordinates of the origin of the reference frame and the orientation with orient will define or will be defined with a criterion with the numerical fields from q1 to q4. The pose data type is a type composite data type that contains a post and an orient data types, but their field names are trans and rot respectively. So please don't get confused. Here I show you an example of how to initialize and unassign values of this type of data. To reach a position, the robot can, or to, to reach a position, the robot can reach that position with different configurations, mainly affecting to joints Q1. Q4 and Q6 of the robot. Rapid allows defining different robot configurations with four numerical values in the conf data structure, three that define the quadrants of the joints that I have previously mentioned, and they can take a positive or negative value between 0 and 3 for the positive quadrants, let's say from 0 to 90 degrees, 90 degrees to 180 degrees, and so on, and let's say also for minus 4 to minus 1 for the negative quadrants. So this corresponds to 0 to minus 90 degrees from minus 90 degrees to minus 180 degrees and so on. As you may guess, there might be ambiguous values. That is that the number 0, for instance, and the value minus 4 actually represent the same quadrant and the number 1 and minus 3 exactly the same. In addition, conf data also includes a fourth value, CF, uh, CFGX, that allows you to define the configuration of the robot with a number from 0 to 7. Here I show the eight possible configuration of an IRB140 robot. As I have mentioned before, the values of CFG1, CFG4, and CFG6 of the data type conf data represent the quadrants of the joints. Here we see a figure taken from ABB's reference manual showing what these quadrants mean. However, it is true that, or, or this is true for revolute joints because the meaning of those uh, values for prismatic joints is different. They represent regions in meters for possible joint values. Anyway, the meaning of all these um, uh, fields 
is highly dependent on the robot we use. So I recommend you to see the reference manual to understand in detail all possible configurations for your robot. You can also learn quite a bit of uh, or in, in Robot Studio software because you can modify the robot configuration and see exactly how it behaves for this uh, kind of configuration. The points on, of a trajectory um, of a robot can be stopping points or flyby points. That's non-stopping points. For stopping points, the robot will stop at each of the points, while in flyby points, the robot will maintain or keep an intermediate spin between the two consecutive uh, movement instructions, and the TCP, the tool center point, will not pass exactly through the program rob a point. In this case, we can define a zone data to, def to determine the accuracy in which we want the robot must pass near the program point. Actually, two zones are defined, one to define the position of the TCP and another one to define the orientation of the TCP, if necessary. In the figure on the right, we can see how the size of that second area affects to define the region in which the tool begins to change the orientation. Therefore, to define the accuracy of the points of a trajectory, we will use the data type zone data that allow us to define if the point is a stopping point or a flyby point and the size of the previous mentioned regions. It is a data structure that contains a Boolean variable to define whether if it's a stop or a flyby point and six numerical values that define the size of the zone. Please refer to the technical reference manual for details because in my, uh, what I recommend indeed is just simply to use one of the predefined values or uh, that you can use for a uh, defined zone, like the ones listed in the table. For instance, defined variable is used to define a stopping point, while the predefined variables Z0, Z5, Z200, among others, will allow you to intuitively define the size of the zones that you want. Speed data includes four values. The first for defining the speed of the TCP in millimeters per second. The second one is the speed of the reorientation of the TCP in degrees per second, while the third and the fourth values are just simply used to define the values of the linear speeds and rotational speeds of external joints. Rapid includes a set of predefined speeds that we will use to define the tool speed. The table below shows the name of some of the predefined speed values and the corresponding uh, TCP linear speed. There are many other predefined values that I have not included in this table, so if you want to know all of them, again, I recommend you to access to the reference manual. Defining a tool is an essential step for correct operation of a robot. Otherwise, inaccuracies, speed limitations and overshoots may be incurred. The tool has its own coordinate frame, which is one, which is the one that uh, we will use uh, to define the positions that we want the, to reach, or the, the, the tip of the tool to reach. Typically, this coordinate frame is defined with respect to the reference frame of the robot flange. In addition, we must take into account that the tool has a width, and that also has a center of gravity and some inertial moments that we can define or we must define as part of the tool data. The tool is defined in, indeed with the data type tool data that has a Boolean variable to indicate whether the tool is being used or not, a position to indicate the reference frame of the tool tip or TCP, and also a low data of the tool, which means that is a low data data type that includes the parameters such as the mass, the position and orientation of the center of mass and inertia. In the figure, I show the coordinate frame of the tool as well as the center of gravity and the excess of inertia. The data type wrap joint is used to define joint targets values and it is a composite type with six numeric elements with the names RAX1 to RAX6 from robot axis. Similarly, up to six other elements are used to define the external robot joints with the X joint data type.
similar to the previous one, but with the names AXXA up to AXXF. If a robot has no external axis, this can be indicated using the value 9E9. The finally, a joint target is a composite type that includes a ROB joint and an X joint data with the names ROB X and, ROB and X X. Here we can see an example in which a calibration joint position is defined. As you can see, in this example, there's a first or uh, external joint too. And finally, I will explain one of the most used data types in Rapid, which is the ROB target. It is a composite type to define the position and orientation of a reference frame, as well as to indicate the robot configuration to be used and the values of external joints. Here we see how a target position is defined with negative 20 mm from the z-axis with a rotation of 90 degrees in z. That corresponds to the quaternion 0 0.7, 0, 0, and 0 0.7 respectively. The selected configuration is 0000 and has no external joints. This position is relative to another reference system, in this case indicated by the name W object, which is the reference system of the working object. This is something we will see when defining the motion instructions. In this presentation, I have introduced common composite data types used in Rabbit. In the next video, we will see how to use them to define the movement instructions of a robot. Thank you.